And now we're on Daf Yud Beis Amid Beis. Came in the Chazu de Mezalzel of Ahu. At some point, the people had to decide who to get married, to, to whom to get married. They had two choices. They could get married to a Besula who's a Bas Yisrael. So on the one end, there's a plus that she's a Besula. She's never been married. But on the other end, she's a Bas Yisrael. They had another uh, suggestion to marry a girl who's a Bas Kohen, but she's an Almon. She's been married before. So she has the plus of the Yichus of Bas Cohen, but the minus that she was already married. So what happened was they weren't interested in marrying an Almono. They'd rather marry Basula. Why? Because one second. Because if they marry Basula, she gets the high level of Ksuba, Masayim Zuz, and she has that Yichus, that, you know, flag that she waves that she's a Basula. Whereas the Almana, even though she's a Baskoin, she's only getting a Mana. Obviously, she's on a, on a lower level. So they're going to come to be Mizalzel in the Almanus of Kohanim, Almanus of Kohanim, because now you're telling me that they get such a low tsuba. Apparently, you know, an Almana is never an Almana. She's not on that level. So Tiknu, they went back and they changed the original Takana and they upgraded her tsuba to Masayim. And that gave a certain status. And Hashivus to a Baskoin Almona. So there'll be more of a psychological uh, pull towards marrying her. But now it backfired. Why? Came in the Chazu, Chazu, the Kaparshin Minayu, the Amri. Look, I'm going to have to pay a ksuba of 200 zuz for an almana because she's a bas coin. I'm at, for that ma- amount of money, I might as well buy, so to speak, a basula, bas Yisrael. Okay, she's a bas Yisrael, but she's a basula. And it's the same identical ksuba. And therefore, Adrinu Lemil Sayyid, the Kachami went back to the original Takana, and Albana's coin only gets a mana. So now there'll be, in a sense, a gravitational pull to marry an Almana Bas coin, because look, she's a Bas coin, and my Ksuba is only going to be a mana. I'll get it off easy. Mission says, Bezin shall coin away, govern with Sula, Bamil Suz, Omar Budum, Shmuel, Lo, Bezin shall coin in Bilvad Amru. If a Bezdin shall Yisrael, a regular Bezdin, would want to make a Takana, that if a person marries a Bzula from a Mishpacha Miucheses, she will be getting a Ksuba of Arba Zuz Osim, will allow the Takana to go into effect, and we're not going to make any protest. So just like in the case of a Bas Cohen, they jacked up Aksuba from 200 to 400, so too Mishpachos V'yuchasus Israel, they can jack up the Ksuba to 400. And here I want to quote to you a Ritva. He says, Shebnei ir sha'asu askamos al if I understand correctly what the Ritva is arguing, 
is once the Bezdin shall call him established that a Miuchesis will get 400 zoos, then even though the Ksuba doesn't say anything specific about 400 zoos, but nevertheless, the Ksuba is being written al das the Minagam Mokom, and if in that city they establish 400 zoos, that's what he's going to pay. Mesve, the Gemara Sakasha, a road to Lassus Kedar Shakonim Osim. Kigon Bas Yisrael the Kohen, who Bas Kohen the Yisrael Osim. If there's a Tzad Kahuna, like for example, a Kohen is marrying a Bas Yisrael, or a Yisrael is marrying a Bas Kohen, so in those cases, we're going to allow a Ksuba of 400 Zuts. So Gemara is now a Dayek. Bas Yisrael, the Kohen, Bas Kohen, Yisrael, who the Ika Tzad Kahuna. When do we allow a jacking up of the Ksuba to 400 Zuts? That's because there's a Tzad Kahuna in the marriage. Avo Bas Yisrael, Yisrael. We get down to basics now. There's no Kohen. Is low. There's no way that we can obligate anyone in a case of Abbas Yisrael marrying to Yisrael to pay 400 zuz. And this is against the statement of Rabbi Yehuda in the name of Shmuel that Bezdin Shal Yisrael can establish that a Mishpacham Yuches Yisrael should have a Ksuba 400 zuz. And where answers Lo Mi Boy Ka'omar, the Brisa is mentioning a great, a great Achidich. Lo me boy, it goes without saying, Bas Yisrael Yisrael. The minute was to collect 400 zoos, he's got to pay Ksub 400 zoos. Hello, Mati. Oh, my law, Iluye, come on, Lina Lay. He cannot say to her that with this marriage, He's bringing her up one notch. Why? Because he's Israel, just like she's Israel. So if there's going to be a claim for Ksuba 400 Zeus, it has to be written in the Ksuba. Avo bas Yisrael le Kohen. Demotzi omele luye koma alyin le Ema lo. In a case of bas Yisrael marrying a Kohen, he can argue that I'm being mala you to a higher matrix. You're marrying it to Mitzpachas Kahuna. Is we would say that we're not going to allow for a Takana to write 400 Zuz. In the case of Abbas Israel to a coin. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not sure what I said, but let me just go over it one more time. The ability to demand a higher ksuba is based on the fact that there's mishpachas khan. If there's only mishpachas Yisrael and he can't say I'm, I'm raising, he's Yisrael, he can't say I'm raising you to a higher madrega, then it's pshita that they, they have to write the 400 zoos in the Ksuba, if that's what the agreement is. But if there's a Tzad Gehuna, like Bas Yisrael at Kohen, where he has a right to say to Iluye Koma Aliyala, I'm bringing you into a higher level, because now you shy to Mishpachas Kohen, aim low. You might suggest that he cannot be misakim a takon of 400 zuts. One second. But what's the logic here, the Gemara? That since he's a Kohen, now she's entering into Mishpatah's Kuhn. All right. 
the Arbamil Zuz now gives her a special status, but here it's his special status. A Mashmalon that no, if the Minig is to write 400 Zuz, then we'll write 400 Zuz. That's the Takana of the Bez of Jol Yisrael, even though he's a Kohen, even though he's arguing that I'm bringing you to a higher level. But that's what the Minig is. Okay. Now we begin a Mishnah that's going to take us for the next couple of blocks. You know, we're really starting. Again, the Tainus Psulin back and forth, Bari Vishema, Hazakis, all the above. Hanosia Sishwala Matsala Psulin. He omeris Mishras Tani Nanasti. Vinis Tapha Sadev. She's claiming that she was raped after the Aris. And that's his problem. Because this Khaivas of the Ksuba is set in stone at the time of Aris. You were already a Ba'ula before the heirs. You fooled me into being mischayev for a ksuba of Masayim. By a mikhi mekach tos. I believe that you were a Ba'ula at the time of the heirs. And I was mistaken. You were already a Ba'ula. Now, does he have any proof whatsoever that she was a Baula before the Arisen? It's just basically his claim against her claim. And here we have Machlokis Tanoim. Rabbi Eliezer Omer Menes, she could take her Ksuba of Masayim Zut. Rabbi Yeshua Omer Lomi Piyon Chayim. We cannot rely on her claim. Like Hamotzi Mechavel of right. We have to assume until you bring evidence in a lawsuit, you're, you're a Shakra. Ella, a rei zu becheskas pe ula achelo tis ares, vitis vehita so. Achetavi rayelud varel, says Rabbi Yeshua, she has a chazaka of being a pe ula, achelo tis ares. And therefore she loses her ksuba. Until she proves that she was a basul at the time of the heiress. Truth be told, I don't understand Rabbi Gamaliel and Rabbi Eliezer here in this context. Unless we assume what's called a cheskas ksuba. Are you familiar with the concept of? Of Enio de and Praticha, the two ways a person could say Shema. One is Enio de im Hilvisani. I don't even know if I took a loan from you. And the other way is to say that I admit I took a loan from you, but I don't know if I paid you up. And according to one opinion in the Gemara, and I think that's how we paskin, is in this case of Enio de and Praticha, he's going to have to pay up even though there's no raya to the effect, no aid them to testify the effect that he didn't pay up. But the answer is there's some, something called a cheskas chiyu, which is otherwise known as any adam praticha. And according to Rabbi Lozan and Gabriel in our Mishnah, the tzuba should be written as any odea in praticha. Any whatever claim she comes up with, his counterclaiming in, in, implies that he already paid up the tzuba. Itmar, mono libi yod chavalomer en yodea. So what's en yodea? I think en yodea here means en yodea im hilvisani. So he's questioning the very basic chiyu. Is Rav Huna, Rav Yehuda, Rav Huna, Amri Chaya, which means that Bar Vishem of Bar Yod. Rav Nachman, Rav Yochanan, Amri Pot, Bar Vishem of La Bar Yod. Rav Huna, Rav Yehuda, Amri Chaya, Bar Vishem of Bar Yod. 
Rav Nachman, Rav Yochanan, Rav Potur, the Uki Momona Becheskas Mori. Meaning that if he's tining Shema, any Odea, then there's no, in his mind, there's no, and, and in objective terms, there's no proof that he's Chayef. So, you want to force me to pay up, the burden of proof is on you. But Rav Huna and Rav Yehuda, they have a concept called Taina. Taina means I was Toveyu Bibari. You borrowed a thousand dollars and you never paid it up. Is Bari Vishama Bari Adif Lahoti Michazak? Omale Abai Rav Yosef Hod Rav Hun Rav Yehuda Dishmuel He. Really, Bari Vishama Bari Adif has already been established by Shmuel in the earlier generation. Now we learned in a Mishnah. This is going to be a Mishnah later on in Dafi Gimel. Of a Pnuya, Shahi Samu Beres, she's pregnant, but we don't know who is the Boel. The Amrula, they asked her, Ma Tivo Shal Uber Zeh, what, what person did you have a relationship with? The Amrula, Ma Tivo Shal Uber Zeh, Mich Plony. The coin. What does it mean for coin? Who? It doesn't mean he's a coin. I mean, it's an Uber. I mean, we, I don't know if you'd call an Uber a coin. Okay, that, that's not a really a fair argument, but because maybe the East Pony was a coin, but it doesn't mean he's a coin. It means he's kasha lekuhuna, as opposed to let's say a guy, or a nosin, or a mamzer. He's from Gamliel, Rabbi Elazar, Omer Menes. She's believed because uki gavra cheskas kashus, and we're not going to pass a lot of Imagine a single girl is pregnant. Rabbi Yeshua disagrees. Ain't an emens. Why? Because she may have had beer with a nosin, a mamzer, a guy. She has to prove that the Boel was caution. The Omar of Yudom and Shmuel, Halacha Kram Gamliel. So Shmuel, Haskins like Ram Gamliel, which means. That Bari Vishema la Bari Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. That Bari Vishema Bari Right? She's Bari and he's Shema. Exactly what, you know, what Rav Huna said before. And Shmuel. The Omarle, Rav Shmuel, Bar Yehuda, Rav Yehuda. Shinina, Shinina means Shanun v'charif. Amrit lan, Mishmei de Shmuel, Shalacha, Kerava Gamliel, Afar Ishona. You know, it's not only in this Machlokes, but even in a different Machlokes, Shitaina is Misharastani Nenasti, in his tapchas for deu, he's tithing. No, maybe you had beer already before the eris. And we're going to pass like Rav Gamliel, even in that case. And she's believed. She's believed to say in his tapchas for deu and the beer. And the onus happened during the Eris. My Afarishona, 
She's believed because Bari Od. So you see from our Mishnah that Shmuel by Paskin, like Rabbi Gamliel, has already adopted the view of Bari Vashem and Bari Od. And this is exactly what Rav Huna and Rabbi Yehudu were saying that Bari Vashem and Bari Od. It's just that, let's understand. In the case of Ramagam Gamliel, Bari Adif, one second. So what is the name? Make sure it's tiny, then it's not tiny. Oh, I got it. In the case of a pregnant single girl, the issue and the sheet of Rabbi Gamliel and Rabbi Loza that she's believed revolves around the question of Cheska's Kashrut and Psul Likuhuna. It's not a Dine Mominus Halach. And when Shmuel is quoted as saying that we pass in Halach or Gamliel in the Mishnah later on of Muberes on Daf Yudalid, that's only a bari v'shema and hilchas iser v'heta. But after Rishona, that's referring to our Mishnah and the question whether or not he has to pay the ksuba. So that's a Didi Mominus question. And if Shmuel Paskin like Rabbi Gamliel, even in our Mishnah, at bari v'shema bari yodif, it means that even in Dini Mominus, we're not going to apply the principle of Moti Mechavil Araya, but bari v'shema bari yodif. And that's exactly Rav Huna and Rav Yehuda that Bari Vesheva Bari Adif, even as far as Maman is concerned. So the Gemara now says, Lema, shall we assume, the Rav Yehuda, Rav Huna, the Amri, Karam Gamliel. Okay, that we understood, Bari Vesheva Bari Adif. For Rav Nachman, for Rav Yochanan, the Amri, Karam Yeshua. So let's go back to Rav Nachman and Rav Yochan. They said, Potur, the Uki Mamona Bechezkes Moret. We're not going to take Mamon out of the hands of the Muxuk without a riot. And that sounds awfully similar to Rav Yeshua, who says that Bari Vishem Alav Bariot. Amlucha Rav Nachman, Anandi Amri Afilu, Kirabana, Nad Kalokoma, Rav Gamliel Hosom. I feel like Rabbi Gamliel. I can look on Rabbi Gamliel. Hasam el de ika migu. Well, hocha my migu ika. The migu is That what that she could have said, what could she have said? Lo nivalti, I guess. Okay. Ah, mukat eitzan. She could have claimed mukas eitzani, and then she's not psul kuhuna. Instead, what does she say? She says that mishra astani nasti. She was raped after, as a married woman. She can no longer marry a Kohen. So let's believe her in her taina because she has a migu. So that even though Rav Nachman holds 
that uki mamona becheskas more. And bari v'shem alav bari adif. Nevertheless, the exception to that rule is going to be the case where she has a migu. So she has a migu plus a tainus bari against the baal who has a tiny Shema, and therefore she's believed. So it's not a classic case of Bari Vichema because her Bari is supported by Amigu. And therefore, even though Rav Nachman holds in general Bari Vichema la Bari Oda, but in this case, with the tiniest Bari of the Icha is supported by Amigu, she could have easily said, Muka Seitzani. In such a case, we believe her. And we're going to apply the principle of Bar Vichema, Bar Yodha, but in general, like for example, a person is Tofea, he sues his friend for a mona. And his friend says, Any Odea, I don't know if I'm Chayev or not Chayev. My Migu Ika. Well, what Migu does the Tofea have? Therefore, Bari Vishema la Bari Adif Amotsi Mechavirl of Araya, but the exception is going to be where the Tainas Bari is supported by a Migu. Inami, I can't look on Rab Gamaliel Hassam. In the case of the Ksuba, she's believed with her Taina El Ademrian Ukiya Chazaka. He has a Cheskas Pesula. She was born a Basula, that's called a Cheskatag Guf. Now we want to know at a certain period of a certain moment of time, we'll call it time T1, Bishas Erison. Was she a Basula or, an, or a Baula? So we're going to say Uki Gavra Becheskas Basula. And we can delay the change in our status as much as we can. So she was Baula, so she was Baula after the Erison. Now add to that that she has a tainus bari against the tainus shema of the Baal, and therefore Rogamliel believes her. So it's not because she's supporting, supported by a migu time, but because she's supported by a chazaka, namely that she was born a besula and she remains a besula until we know for a fact that that situation changed. In a case where a man is tovea halva, my chazaka ikalelahai. What chazaka does the tovea have? That therefore he should be believed to be motzi moment from a nitba, and therefore we're gonna we're gonna assume that the final determining principle that applies is cheskes moment is a motzi mechal v'ray. How can I mistabra kideka mishaninon? As we answered the Rav Nachman, who the Yomer Karam Gamliel, the Rav Nachman can in fact hold like Karam Gamliel. And even though he holds in general Bari Vashem a la Bari Odif, but here it's a different kind of Tainus Bari. The Bari in a case of Mishra's Tani Nenasti is different because she has either a Migu or she's being supported by the Cheskas Psula, the Cheskas Guf, that she was born of a Sula, and therefore we assume she is a Sula. And now we're up to Dafyud Gimel. Let's just see if we can get to the Mishnah. The Imkain, if you would say the opposite, that Rav Nachman holds like Rabbi Yeshua, without accepting all the Terutzim of the Gemara, is Kasha Ilchasa Hilchasa. I have a stira in two Psokim, Piske Dinim of Rav, of Rav Nachman. The Kaimalon, we always hold like Hilchasa Rav Nachman with Dinim Ominus. He was the expert on Dinim Ominus. And therefore, we're going to say the Bari Vishema La Bari Yodifam. But in our Mishnah, Amrav Yudam Amr Shmuel, Halach Ram Gamliel, that she's believed, and she can collect her Ksuba based on a tiniest Bari, because Bari Vishem a Bari Yodit. But we just passed in Halach Ram Nach for the Bari Vishem a La Bari Yodit. The Lalav, Shmamina, Kinemashaninon, Shmamin. 
we must assume like our answer. That only here, Rav Gavliel holds them in this. Or because she has Migu, or because she's supported by Ches Kisaku. But Bialma, in general, we're going to pass on like Rav Nachman that Bari Vishema, Lav Bari Adiv Shmamino. That leads us to the Mishnah here on Daf Yud Gimel and the Mirza Shem Bulineder, uh, starting the week next week, we'll pick it up. See where we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up on the bottom of Daf Yud Gimel, Hamid Bays. Ahu Arus Varusa. Okay. Okay then, so let me take this opportunity to wish you a great Chavis. Have a good Chavis. You should know that this is a sugya that is so profound. If we would if we would really want to do justice to the sugya that we learned today, especially the last sugya about Pari Vishema, with Cheskas Aguf, with Migus, with Dini Mominus and Dini Surim, we could literally spend a month on this Gemara that we learned today. Well, but we're only learning it, Dafyomi, but we got a little bit out of it, and we're oriented in. Oh, this is good.